Hi everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. I was trying to look for another project on on uh, GitHub uh, regarding JavaScript and a bot that just displayed cryptocurrency trading prices, but then I found this one by accident called Gecko, and this looks pretty cool. Um, it has a full-on interface with with um, basically backtesting, importing, and a, and a complete trading platform. I mean, these kind of projects are getting really cool. So I thought, hey, why not just try this thing out? Never done this before. I don't, I'm not a big fan of JavaScript, but looking at these kind of projects, you go, whoa, um, these are pretty pretty impressive. So I got a JavaScript project here. So I'm going to git clone this project. And then the next CD into it. And so we got Gecko. And then we got to install. Once installed, we need to install dependencies. Open your terminal and navigate to the, the Gecko folder, which we just did. So we're going to do npm install. So I guess these are the automatic um, the automatic dependencies download. Another package manager for JavaScript. And then we start her up. I guess it's built off of Node.js. So let's see what this puppy looks like. Pretty exciting. I, I'm really glad to see these type of projects coming about. But the next question is, um, as one of the people in my uh, TensorFlow, oh, sorry, TensorFlow, my, my uh, Telegram group, um, has been really influential on, on bringing me aboard and bringing me about to these uh, type of projects and and uh, cryptocurrency, just believing in it, that this stuff has got a lot of good things going on. Um, so here I am playing around with it. Okay, so I guess we've downloaded the dependencies. So now we're going to try to run this guy. So let's see what happens here. Now, remember, this is a server edition. We have to See here we go. We've got Gecko. So here we go. Um, so we can do a back test. Selected scan available data. MACD candle size paper trading. Okay. Remember it says Gecko. Use Gecko at your own risk. Okay. So here's our MACD parameters. And what's the next step? No data found, let's add some. Import data, you don't have any data import, so we can grab, so these are the the um, exchanges uh, supported, GDAX, which is good, Bitfinex, Polonex, so these are interesting. So we got August 20th to today, so we'll import it in. I gotta say I'm impressed, very intuitive. For an open source project, this is quite good. So, Let's do a config. Available AP. You don't have any API keys. Add one. Okay. So oh, we gotta add a API key, I guess. So available keys remove. So do we just add one for pull? Okay, so we got okay. Wow, you got more exchanges. Bitstamp, GDAX, Gemini, Kraken, OK Coin. From what I understand, Gemini, the guys that started, supposedly the twins that started Facebook, that's theirs. GDAX is Coinbase, Bitfinex. Um, so let's say if we go for GDAX, do we just add that? Oh, I guess we have to add the... I have no idea if, it, if, if these are actual coins, or sorry, API that are automatically created, want to just add it? That's a good question, but, um, so we've got some importing data, still going crazy. Available data sets, import more data, add, scan available data set. So we got Bitcoin, two days duration, import more data. Go to the importer, we don't want that. So scan available. Okay, so we got that, cool. Now we got live, run your strategy against the live market. 
Start a new live gecko. Strategy, paper trading, change paper setting, paper trader, market watcher. So we're going Polynex, USDD, asset, BTC, start, market graph. Not enough data, spawn chart, two minutes. So pay. Okay, paper trader. Change paper trader set settings, slippage. Okay, market graph, no graph. Um, what are we, so how's our download going, I guess? So we're still back testing here. You know what I should have done? I should have just dashed. Um, you can already start back testing, okay. Scan available data, okay. Adjust range, so we'll do that. Change paper, so we'll back test it, see what happens. Back test result, so here's our chart. I'm impressed, round trip. Entry, exit, so that's four hours. Entry in the market, exit. Huh. This is impressive. So, very, very impressive. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, wow, this is, so these are the exit and entries. Very cool. And so easy to set up. Local data, config, okay, so we got two of those. Documentation we don't need to worry about. That's pretty intuitive, I'm pretty impressed with this. So let's do another back test. Um, the question is, how do we do a live gecko? Start a new gecko live, strat runners, Polynex, duration. Parameters, waiting for at least one trade, market graph, round trip. I'm very, very impressed with this. Um, so we have some market watchers we can set up, strat runner we can set up, we can run a back test, do a local data. Very impressive. I don't, as I said, I don't know if these are valid or not. Um, let me just see installing Gecko on the server. We don't care about creating a strategy if it's got, okay, so it's basically using JavaScript. Holy moly, so you could have a full on trading platform with this thing using this basic API all done in JavaScript. Pretty impressive. So um, even though I will, say, I will say not a lot about it, but from what I'm gathering, if I wanted to have a web a web front running this on a remote server, I can definitely do that. Um, um, maybe I'm on my own private server. Uh, I could set that up, get all this plugged in. Um, trying to run maybe integrating with Python and yet C++. This is very interesting, um, but I do like the looks of this. Uh, it does support a lot of the major exchanges as well. Something you may want to check out. I have no idea. Um, I know what it does, but just now looking at it, I'm pretty impressed. And there's a there's a bunch of these projects online on GitHub, um, but this one seems to be pretty 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 impressive. All right. Hopefully, I'll help you out later. Have a good day. See you.